Hi there, Psych2Goers. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you all so much for the love and support that you've given us. Your ongoing support has helped us make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. So thanks. Now, let's continue. Are you an introvert? While introverts make up anywhere from one third to one half of the population, we as introverts often feel that others don't seem to understand us. I know, frustrating, right? If you often feel misunderstood by the extroverted people around you, consider sharing this video with your extroverted friends. With that said, here are six signs people struggle to understand about introverts. Number one, you're not depressed and you're not mad at them. People may think you're feeling depressed because of how much time you spend alone by yourself. However, this usually isn't the case. As an introvert, you love your alone time because you enjoy relaxing in your room or taking a quiet walk or listening to music. Just because you need time by yourself to recharge doesn't mean you're mad at others or depressed. You'll come back and join when you're ready. Number two, you do enjoy company. You need time and space to be alone and recharge and to regain your energy after socializing. Just because going out and socializing takes energy out of you doesn't mean that you hate people. When you're recharged and ready to go, you wouldn't mind hanging out with your friends or attending a social gathering. Number three, just because you're quiet doesn't mean you're shy. Another common misconception about introverts is that they're shy or that they have social anxiety because they don't talk as much as the next person. The truth is being quiet is not the same thing as being shy. Being an introvert at heart, you like to think before you speak and you don't really enjoy small talk or idle chit chat. You'd rather keep things to yourself because you secretly hope people will stop talking about the mini buffalo wings and salsa platters and move on to deeper conversations. Number four, you aren't always insecure. Are you often perceived as being shy and insecure by others? Are you always pushed into situations by others who think that socializing is the way to fix you? A lot of introverts are quiet, but being quiet doesn't mean that they're insecure. Similar to thinking that all introverts are shy, many might think all introverts are quiet and reserved because they have low self-esteem or lack self-confidence, which is far from the truth. Number five, many introverts are successful. You don't need to be an extrovert to be successful. As an introvert, you have more time to think about who you are and dig into your soul. Life's existential questions are just waiting to be answered by introverts. Because you are more inward thinking, you can spend more time thinking and reorganizing what you want in life. And because you enjoy solitude, you have a lot of time to ponder about what you truly want and learn to feel comfortable with who you truly are. When you spend more quality time focused on work and yourself, it means you may have more success when given an opportunity to share your work. Successful introverts include Albert Einstein, Rosa Parks, Bill Gates, Steven Spielberg, Sir Isaac Newton, Audrey Hepburn, Eleanor Roosevelt, Mark Zuckerberg, Larry Page, and the list goes on. Number six, introverts do like to have fun. As an introverted person, you enjoy your solitude at home, but it doesn't mean you don't like a day out on the town as well. You generally enjoy hanging out and talking with your close friends. So a day out of the house is usually spent with them or perhaps by yourself as well. Not all introverts spend every day cooped up at home. And if we do, so what? Our bedrooms are gosh darn cozy. Do you relate to any of these struggles mentioned? What are your thoughts on being an introvert? What other things do you wanna let your extroverted friends know? Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and share it with others to help us reduce the misconceptions about introverts. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon for more Psych2Go videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.